Danielle here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a vlog for you guys and I'm just going to be kind of vlogging a few days in my live content creator edition. So in this video there's going to be a lot of behind the scenes on a few days in my life now going back into being a full time content creator. Showing you guys how I do things and yeah so I do want to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor Color Beauty. But without further ado be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below your thoughts and what you want to see next and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already it is such a fun time around here and i would love it if you stuck around but let's just get right into it so starting off my day with of course some starbucks why do i have three candles here don't ask but i'm going to actually light wakiki beach coconut and i'm gonna kind of clear up my nightstand and make my bed i just got these new sheets from slash shop i'm gonna be doing an ig reel and story about them and i'm obsessed with them but yeah so i have this basket here that i keep by my bed any things that I don't want to show in the background of my content. I actually tuck it in right next to my nightstand. Light up this candle, get it smelling nice in here. And this corner is actually the one that shows, excuse the messy ass room, but over there is where I sit to film, as you can see, like all my makeup and stuff right there. So usually I also go ahead and turn that lamp on and I'll go into my app to change the color, depending on what I'm gonna wear. I actually don't know what I'm gonna wear today, but we're just gonna put on purple because I really like it. So it gives just like a moody vibe in the background of my videos and I'm gonna just take this down too. So I'm in the process of organizing my life right now. So currently, since it is now July, I am using my new day designer planner. I know in my past videos I was talking about how I was using a self-care planner. And I'm in the process of actually organizing my Notion calendar, which let me show you that real quick. So I just have some vague sections here that I have to actually go in and fill out and personalize. It's been taking me a little bit, but we're gonna get there but in the meantime i've been pretty much organizing everything in this day designer and then later on in this video i'll also show you me doing more content planning but basically i have been going by um like branded things that i have to do and partnerships that i have today i have like just a lot of filming and brand stuff to get done so today's focus is gonna be on my branded content and i actually am almost gonna hit 10k on tiktok i'm so excited be sure to follow me on there since i have a little bit of a later start to today and usually what I'll do is I'll go in and bookmark like any trends that I want to try out doing but today I don't really have time to focus on TikTok but normally I would go and like gather any TikToks that I have to do for the day but yeah today I'm doing a lot of branded stuff so I basically I'm coming over here to my closet area and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear today for the content I kind of think I want to go in with this cute little dress I have my DSLR all charged but yeah I have to go in and make my bed that's kind of the first part and then I come over to my makeup vanity and kind of pick out any makeup that I need to try and show in content but yeah let me change and then I'm gonna do a little get ready with me kind of section for you guys I have a lot of things to film with different packages but we're gonna get on to that later this is before and after so I'm not the best at making my bed I also still need throw pillows you guys are probably used to the silver but now I got like that pop of blue but anyway still need to do that but now this step is done and I will see you guys at my vanity to get ready with me so here's just a sneak peek I have my color beauty products that I have to try out here I also have to film an ad in partnership with urban doll I know it's a mess but I also not today but I am partnering with morphe on some new products that I'm super excited about so I kind of have things all over the desk and related to like PR and stuff and then my everyday makeup here <laughs> really messily but I'm so excited so let's get started okay so I am so excited to be trying out these color beauty self adjusting foundations and I want to thank them so much for sending these over I have never tried anything like this I'm so excited to <laughs> see the turnout this foundation uses color reveal technology to release the perfect amount of pigment to match your unique skin tone so just 
one product can replace a full drawer of your different foundations. You could take out the guesswork of trying to find out your perfect shade and I'm mostly excited about this product because since it is summertime, you know, our skin tone is constantly changing and this product also has SPF 50 in it. It's paraben free, fragrance free, and honestly it sounds a little bit too good to be true but let's test it out today. So I'm going to be using the shade medium just because I am a little tan. So yeah, it's supposed to be a non-greasy lightweight formula with a matte finish and let's see so I'm gonna go in with one pump as you can see it is completely white and I'm gonna try it on one side of my face it does say to blend it out with your fingers the pressure from your hands breaks the microscopic color beads which is gonna release more color the more you blend it in and do you see that on my forehead okay so I think I put a little bit too much on this side but I'm just gonna keep blending it with my fingers Oh my god, do you see that already? And honestly, it feels like I'm putting on sunscreen. It feels like a moisturizer, which I really love. Most foundations just have like that foundation, like cakey feel. So I really love that this just feels like I'm putting on lotion. And most of the time I don't use my hands to blend out my foundation. So I love that this is just an easy application as well. Oh my god. Do you guys already see that? Okay, not gonna lie, I'm kind of shook right now. So this is the shade Medium, and it perfectly blended in. You can see the difference. The natural streak-free color, I can definitely say that it has that. Okay, so let's put it on the other side. I am actually pretty shook right now. But do you see, like, how does it turn from that white color to that? Like, hold on. It actually looks beautiful. It looks your skin but better in all honesty. I love how quick and easy it is. I was worried that it wouldn't really blend in but this is pretty groundbreaking. I'm not even gonna lie. This I have never seen before but I think everybody needs this in their life. So it has pretty decent coverage. I would say it's more of a medium coverage. Um, kind of like a CC cream. It looks perfect for the summer. It kind of smoothed out my skin. And I think the icing on top of the cake with this foundation is that it has the SPF 50. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I am just really shook right now. I can't believe that it matched me perfectly. It looks super good. I'm actually gonna go in with the sponge just to blend out a little bit better. Any harsh lines from my fingertips. But I have no complaints and I am a picky girl when it comes to foundations. So color beauty, you did your thing on this one. So here's kind of my setup. I've been using my vanity for lighting and I just did my color beauty first impressions and look how good it looks, okay. But yeah, so now I need to finish the rest of my face. I need to do my Urban Doll Lashes video. And after that, I need to film some more footage of the lashes outside. I need to do my Fashion Nova swimwear try-on. I want to try to film the talk-through video too of me actually hauling the pieces. But I definitely need to get the try-ons done before the sunset. So we're going to go outside and do that together. And then later on, when I'm kind of settled and done with like the main things that I have to film I'm gonna show you guys some PR some more behind the scenes of like my planning and all that and I'm excited so I will check back in when I'm done with my glam here is before lashes I am obsessed I love how my skin still looks like skin everything applied beautifully on top of the foundation and it's definitely a yes from me okay guys so sorry if you can hear my AC I just finished the lash video now super cute and now I'm in a rush as always I have a ton of bathing suits here from Fashion Nova I just ordered this on Amazon it is a portable pop up pod and I'm gonna bring this outside so I can change outside so that I don't have to keep running inside and out to do the try on and then excuse my storage when you have one room you gotta make do with the space that you have so I'm gonna bring this mirror outside to put it on a chair and set it up and I'm just gonna do all of the bikini try on but yeah I think I'm gonna stay with this hair or I might just put it in like a low messy bun I'm not really sure these clips don't really need like a full-on moment you know so I don't really think it matters and I don't think I'm gonna get to the talk through bathing suit haul today I might do that this weekend since I'm already on a crunch and I feel like I have a little bit more time for that video so we will see how I feel but let me get these try-ons done and then I also need to film some clips in the pool of the lashes so yeah, it's go time. So yay, the sun is still out. I'm gonna put the mirror right here, but let's see how this looks. Oh! Oh, what am I supposed to do? 
got my boyfriend with the assist. When I go in, it's literally the perfect height for me. My head pretty much hits the top, but this is perfect. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna leave it in my trunk probably for when I do multiple looks. I could just change in the street. Okay, gotta make a TikTok about this. <laughs> but as you can see, the sun is starting to go down, so we gotta hurry up. Okay. Now this is a mirror setup. Oh, sun. Hmm. Maybe like this. I don't know, y'all. I'm having trouble right here. This might be way better. Just need to figure out how not to let it fall. Okay, so I kind of figured it out. The camera isn't really working because it's not capturing the colors super good, but my phone is. So I'm gonna film everything on my phone like that. Can you see the difference? Not really, I know, but this kind of looks a little washed out and then the phone looks bright and pretty so yeah and then I can make a TikTok out of it too so it works out okay so a little bit of a fail but I had to dunk my face in the pool for the ad and I look disgusting now but I had to do it before the sunset so now the setup looks really bad so I'm gonna have to film the rest of this tomorrow morning but it's fine it'll look better with the sun anyway so let me pack this up and figure out what my next step is. I think I'm honestly just gonna take a makeup wipe to the rest of my face so that I don't look crazy this whole video. I need to do like a shower clip as well, so I'm gonna let these babies dry. Or maybe I'll do the shower clip right now and then I can let them dry and finish the video. The life of content. I got about halfway done though, so I feel pretty good. Okay, so after a filming day, this is what always results. So I'm gonna tidy up and then I want to sit down and just show you guys a lot of different things. Um, I have some planning to do, I have a lot of editing to do, and we're just gonna get into it. So I had to take it off as a part of the outro for the last video, but I want to show you guys a few other days in my life that I filmed that are content related. So I'm gonna insert them right here and then after. After you guys see that, we'll get back to today. All I care about is money and it's my excuse. Somebody should have told I said I'm on one. Hi, my angels. So I actually was supposed to vlog me getting ready and all that stuff, but day in the life of a typical content day is always in a rush. Seriously, I am drinking my smoothie that I made and I'm on the way to see my friend Lauren. We're gonna have a little content date. We're both gonna do two outfits and she's gonna take me to an area that I've never been to take pictures, so I'm really excited. Here's what the outfit's looking like right now. I'm just gonna show the top, but the top is from Boss Babes Boutique. I also need to do a story try and haul. Oh my God, I need to remember to take the video in this shirt, but I just did this glam. I haven't done a winged liner since dyeing my hair. Isn't that crazy? So finally we got some winged liner action. But yeah, there's gonna be a few days to this vlog. I normally have days where I'm doing all YouTube, TikToks, and Instagram in one. There's very few days where I get to focus on just one. Like today I'm pretty much just focused on Instagram pictures, but when I get home I'll do TikToks and like edit my YouTube video and stuff like that. Look how cute the accessories. You see it, shop GLD. Okay, I just put it on auto so that it just adjusts to the lighting. Also on a typical content day, I go off if there's anything I need to do for brands. So in this case today, I need to do Boss Babes Boutique. So don't worry, I'm literally pretty much at a full stop right now. Um, they sent me these two pieces. I'll have my code on the screen. They are so, so cute. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this casual fit and then this fit right here. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. I, afterwards, I can cross it off my little Canva sheets, my photo inspo. I've been planning out like all of my photos and the makeup and the hair and all that kind of stuff. So normally I make my man take all my pictures, but today is nice and I'm sure he's thanking me as well because uh, I'm starting to link up with some friends to take pictures so that we can both you know get bomb pictures of each other normally super overwhelmed while I'm taking content because I'm always in a rush I feel like I need to wake up earlier that's my main thing is I need to wake up earlier and get ready earlier so I just have the whole day and I'll feel a lot better I already know because um, normally I'm rushing to film a YouTube video or like don't forget TikToks or don't forget this or don't forget that so yeah but today we are strictly focusing on Instagram pictures 
pictures and yeah driving around to locations is another part of this it's actually a super important part of it I've noticed that my engagement has gone down a lot because I haven't been putting effort into locations so that's what we're gonna be doing today I will vlog along the way for you guys I'm actually gonna try to take pictures on my camera also because um, me and Lauren were talking about like how cameras can sometimes make a difference so yeah we are in a random bathroom changing life of Instagrammers. <laughs> the amount of awkward things that happen while taking pictures is crazy. <laughs> Hi guys, sorry if you hear my AC, it is hot. What's crazy is a lot of the times I need to literally force myself to get ready. So today was one of those days I have to just, you know, motivate myself, you know. Just like any job, I know I love it, but for me, getting ready has always been something that I have to kind of like, hey girl, are you going to get up and do it? You feel me? But yeah, today I'm going to go shoot with Mutual Attraction and my friend Cassandra. And I'm excited. We're going to shoot for about four hours today. So I'll walk you guys through the store and kind of show you what goes down when I go there. And yeah, so what I basically am doing there is shooting new arrivals for them. But we get to do them on my phone and then I get to edit them however I want and send them in um to the store for their instagram so it's kind of like two in one we both get content out of it and it's really fun and i get to shoot with my friend Cass, which i always love but yeah today i want to do some straight hair but i want to do some kind of heavier eyeshadow so i'm just finishing my base right now a little bit in a rush but when am I not, to be honest? Today is pretty much all Instagram, and then I need to remember to set you guys up for YouTube, obviously, for my vlog, so you guys can kind of see behind the scenes of the action and everything that goes down. And then when I get home, I might work on some TikToks, and I might actually film um, a brand deal that I have for GLD. Sorry if you guys hear background noise, my boyfriend's playing a video game, but I'm having one of those days with my liner. I can't match that. This just set me back. 20 freaking minutes and I gotta be at the door real soon so I'm just gonna put my lashes on pick my makeup every time strategically so the last few times I've gone um I've done curly hair and the last time I think I just did lashes and then one time I've never done like full-on more sh dark shadow like I have on right now so I wanted to do that today and I also will look at my recent not only from like when I've went to shoot somewhere obviously like I'll switch it up for the place but I'll also look at my recent IG feed and just like my recent pictures and try to switch it up as much as possible yeah luckily straightening my hair takes about five minutes <sighs> I'm gonna be late but you know, had to stop for Starbucks. It literally just adds one minute to my stop because mobile ordering, we love her. It is so hot. My makeup is gonna melt off, but low key, I love when it's hot out because it kind of sets my makeup into my skin and actually looks really good in photos at least. But I am in a rush. Got my extra ash drink that I've shown in vlogs before. I have my little tripod, eco gel, jewelry, various bra situations, water, my camera. Let's go. Okay, new arrivals. Do you want to be in it or no? I don't know. Just my voice Period. is fine. Okay, Cass. <laughs> Just be like here, going like. Even though she's a beautiful natural queen. Oh my god. <laughs> So we basically pull new arrivals and we kind of go around the store, get shoes to match with it, and just style. So super fun. And then we drive around for locations and kind of grind, grind, grind. So I'm going to set you guys up when we're shooting. And yeah. So here's what we have so far. Okay, styled by Cass. We love. And then these... Um, if we get to them, we're gonna do in the store here. It's so cute. You guys need to come. Oh my god, you're scared. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> you're all like creeping in. <laughs> come check it out. Okay, so first look is on. I normally how it goes. We have so much to grind out, so honestly, I'm gonna set up my tripod with you guys for each look and just kind of record it as we go. Also, I'm gonna do that because it's freaking like 95 degrees and we don't have time. So I'm just gonna set you guys up and show behind the scenes. <laughs> Oh, 
girly moment. Say, oh, my camera is dying, by the way, so I don't get it off. It's in the back, and it is on, it's on the ground. So, hello. Next one, we're gonna do at the white wall and I'll insert the pics right here. We are killing it, so we deserve a little rad coffee break. Okay, little lemonade break. Rad berry, right? Yeah, the rad berry. And electric mango. Okay, it's so cute in here. Okay, <laughs> Cass can do it all. <laughs> okay. okay. Charms by Cass. Shop now. Now. The next one. The beach vibe. A lot out, so no BTS for this one. Hi guys. So I'm literally so obsessed with all the pictures and videos has took of me today they are all literally amazing i'm gagging i'm just so excited because i'm feeling totally like myself again and oh my god my camera's dying um i've just been taking so many pictures lately and like getting back into looks and last night i stayed up um for two hours editing a bunch of fashion reels and i'm literally in love with every single look my problem is like posting so i'm gonna look uh research this weekend like some automatic posting things to help me out but I'm on my way to get gas and food because I haven't eaten all day I'm so starving I feel so nauseous right now because of it um you know when you don't eat but my IG feed is about to be popping I literally have too many pictures to the point where I need to take a break because I'm not even have time or enough space to post them all I'm literally have enough for like a month so I don't want to like go too overboard but at the same time I kind of have to you feel me so okay so I cleaned up a little bit and now I am here and I want to show you guys a little bit of PR that I've gotten if you guys have any suggestions for me um, I feel like my biggest challenge has been figuring out my schedule for TikTok. I know a lot of people say you need a specific niche on TikTok, but I kind of want to do a little bit of everything like food advice all that so i'm trying to figure out like if i should do set days for set things and sometimes i feel like maybe i'm just overthinking things too much i'm so used to following set guidelines now and like set contact calendars that i'm kind of losing my sense of just creativity like just get up and create i think that's what i have to touch in more with been so hyper focused on planning things for every single day to hit my goals on posting that i kind of let go of the creativity aspect of it so definitely have to do that but i got a package from shein and i want to go through the items that i got i am so excited i went for some <laughs> y2k vibes in this item selection process so first being this mini skirt how freaking cute is it these heart ties that go around your waist I will have the model images and the names on here for you guys. If you want me to do more Shein hauls, let me know like a dedicated try and haul situation or I could even do that on my TikTok. This shirt I already wore and I'm obsessed with it. It is so cute. I put together a really cute Y2K outfit so I'll have that inserted here. Next, I'm dying to wear this halter top. It has a little butterfly. I think right after this, I'm going to show you guys like how I plan my looks for photos because I feel like I've nailed that down. This is a super cute top. Um, it looks a little confusing here, but on the picture you'll see it just looks so cute. Next up, I got this dress. It is so beautiful. It is such summer vibes, this maxi dress. I feel like I have so many outfits that I still haven't taken pictures in and sometimes I'll make myself stop ordering things because then it gets to a point where I have too many pictures and too many things but I feel like I'm finally getting back on a roll with my IG. Next, so cute, I got a Shein little swim set. It's such good quality and I love that the top is actually attached to a little skirt. It's like a little outfit. I love it. I love the unique colors. It's my first time getting Shein swim actually, surprisingly. Next up, this halter top is it. It is so cute. I'm obsessed with it. Then, y'all, this is, is such a cute little set and my favorite part is that there's butterflies all around the straps it is so bomb mini skirt pink moment i got this four pack of shirts 
I always see these on Shein and I'm obsessed. So affordable for such cute pairs of shirts. These are all ribbed and it came with a white, a nude, a brown, and a black. And they're all different styles and I love them. Oh, I also got this super cute top and I'm not sure why but it's probably somewhere in my closet. So that is what I got from Shein and then I just wanted to show you guys a few more things. If you want more content from me, you guys should also follow me on the Flip app. You might have seen in my planner earlier that I wrote flip videos and basically I do some review content on there. I'm kind of getting the feel for if I like them so that I could start doing them on TikTok. So if you want review videos and you watch my flip, let me know if you like them and want me to start putting that on TikTok. I also need to start doing lives. See that's what I mean. There's like so much to schedule in when you're full-time content creating. So I feel like I'm all over the place right now. I'm trying to figure out like what day should I do what. I got these I believe knit then knit candles I got three of them and I love them I will be doing reviews on all the items that I got on the flip app I got a package of benefit blushes also I got this honest beauty concealer from the flip app and this is my new favorite concealer you can watch that video for the tea I used I believe Shelly today and I loved it I'm obsessed with the benefit blushes so far also Glamnetic. I now have an affiliate code with them. I'll put it on the screen. They came out with these super cute summer press on nails and I'm obsessed with them. Definitely will be trying these out next time I don't have an acrylic set on. And the last thing I want to show you guys before we get into this photo planning, I definitely need to do a TikTok on this like ASAP. Thank you so much to Rare Beauty. Got their new Kind Word matte lip liners and lipsticks and I'm so excited. Let me know if you want me to do an entire swatch video. Throwback to when I used to do those. But now I'm going to show you guys my photo planner and kind of how I plan those kind of things and I'll show you a little behind the scenes of editing. It is 10 p.m. right now and I feel like at night is always when I'm in my zone to edit. It's when I, I'm always putting together like random TikTok videos or like my content from the day and yeah. So I have been using Canva and as you can see these are older stuff. Um, when I finally do content with the item, I go ahead and um, make it transparent so it's kind of like an archive of things that I've already done and then things that I still have left over to do in different outfits. So I have like stuff from my try and haul and these are items from previous hauls or like packages that I haven't taking photos in sometimes I will just end up not taking a photo in an item um, just because I'll end up getting better stuff or it'll, it'll just become too much but I'm actually going to download all of the Shein stuff into here and then like any new packages that I have and what I like to do as you can see is like I have any makeup it, it's kind of vague sometimes sometimes I'll be a little bit more detailed and I'll say what hairstyle I want to do with it and jewelry just so I can just reference like here I styled out outfits that you guys probably already saw on my IG. For the night I am opening up my Final Cut app and here is where I'm going to be editing. I have a brand deal that I have to edit right now for TikTok and then here I have like some other things. If you want to see these exclusive makeup tutorials be sure to go on Il Maquillage because I created some looks for their website. These are things that I'll get booked for like outside of YouTube and outside of my platform so that I don't have to post but I did create these fire looks if you want to see the tutorials on the website and you want more of me. Yeah, here's when I was editing my outfit of the week which was the last video that I uploaded. Um, so yeah, and then I also have a bunch of fashion reels that I have to edit. So here are like older ones that I've put together, posted to my feed. Some of them are on TikTok. Some of them don't get posted to my feed. So if you go to my reels tab, you could see a lot of these. I'm probably gonna listen to the new Brent Fias album right now and edit away, edit my life away. <laughs> 